Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now today I have a really cool video on how to properly warm up. Now this is really crucial because it's something that's kind of uh, prevalent for me because when I was playing pro ball I ended up tearing an oblique on one of my first days with a pro team and it was devastating and it could have been avoided had I just done a really easy proper warm up and that's exactly what I'm going to share with you guys today. This is a really easy warm up. It doesn't take a whole lot of time and it really really helps to prevent injury especially specific to baseball. Let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, I call this my cheap warm-up because it's something that you can do really quick to get yourself ready to practice, whether you're going to the cage or you know, you're going to throw or something, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Always, if you have time to do a nice long warm-up, go ahead and do that. Also, if your doctor or your physician hasn't released you to do any of these moves, make sure that you stay away from them unless otherwise advised by your doctor or your physician. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the, to the warm-up and show you guys how to warm up the shoulder complex the core, the legs, and then, you know, especially the obliques, because that's, you know, that's the one that I tore. Let's go ahead and get going. And there you have it guys, a really nice cheap warm up that you can do that really kind of gets everything. You know, make sure the shoulders are nice and warm, you know, the, those are prone to injury, the obliques are prone to injury, the groin area, and you know, the legs. So everything's nice and warmed up and you're good to go ahead and go ahead and start making some swings, throws, or getting grounders, whatever you guys are working on. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video, but stay tuned. I got a great bonus coming up for you. I'm going to play a preview out of one of the videos in our pitching series at the end of this video and you can see that video plus the entire series absolutely free by clicking on the link that pops up in that preview or in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get to them personally. As always, if you guys could like, subscribe, and plus one this video on Google, that really helps me grow the channel and I appreciate it every single time you guys do. Good luck with your games guys and I'll see you guys soon. This is the plate. And what you're going to do is you're going to monitor this knee on what I call the spin out line. And that's going to be about an inch outside of your back foot. It's going to be a vertical line about an inch right outside your back. And we don't want that knee to go past that line. So if I'm here, I'm in front of the line. As soon as it goes past that spin out line is where we really start getting the tendency to spin out and lose that velocity. Now, what we're going to